So this is part two of the uh, scene from Muncaster Castle in the Lake District. And this is now dried. Doesn't matter if you find some of your colour has gone upwards and downwards. I've got a little bit of watermark along the top edge. This could be modified by wetting and either jiggling and then allowing to dry or you can wet and add extra colour if you need. I'm going to leave mine um, and I'm going to go on to the hillside. So um, what we're going to do is using a fine brush begin to use our ultramarine and alizarin mix. That's a little bit darker than I need it to be so just put a bit of water with it and begin to bring in some of the shaping on this hillside. So it tends to be you get diagonal types of line because they help tell you about the structure of uh, the hillside itself. So let's dark a bit there. You can make this bluer if you need to. I'm just going to keep going for the moment. And from what looked like a very understated picture with just very pale colour on you begin to find the picture begins to come out. Um, there's a darker section here. Again this possibly could have just a tiny bit so if I take a little bit of blue I can just add blue to my mix. Just make that bit darker in front. Making sure you know you're working with a fine brush that you keep it nice and wet and there's a sort of darker area here I've got a slightly longer area in this section so a little bit of touch structure so I'm working left-handed so I'm working from the right and coming across you might be more comfortable going in the opposite direction so not a lot going on on this other side. Again, a little bit of blue with my mix here. So you get definition on the tops. Just select out. You don't have to do everything that you see, especially not with watercolour. Watercolour is very intolerant for having too much work done on it. A little bit dark there. So just wash my brush out. And as I do this, you'll begin to see that background coming to focus. That's a little bit strong. A little bit of shape in here. That's a little bit darker than it needs to be. If in doubt, do less than you think you need, because you can always go back and add more. Much easier to add than to try and take away. And there's just a little bit to do in here. So that's above those um, shaped uh, hedges. Couldn't think of the word. So that does the, the background. Um, I think that that little bit should just have a little bit of a come through. Looks a little bit harsh. A little bit harsh that line, um, but that can be tweaked later. Uh, and then I'm going to take a, a slightly larger brush and I'm going to take my ultramarine mix, maybe adding a little bit of uh, uh, my burnt tumble mix, adding a little bit of ultramarine to it. And I'm going to start defining these hedges. That's maybe a little bit blacker than I wanted. Just a tiny bit more brown and then wash down and then come across. And this colour will go into um, a darker green. So if I get a little bit of sap green with some brown in it, I can run into the sap green with brown in it here and then again dark tone dark tone establishes the front edge of those hedges 
notice how each time I'll move backwards, you can go forwards whichever direction you're going. And catch up. So I'm always working with a short line. So come along up into that hedge, come down into the green, move on. Dark. So you're getting little tucks of light where that hedge, and here I'm just moving ahead quite briskly could move to a smaller brush that's a little bit chunky for this area that bit is just not shaping as it should there we are so we've got these little dips and again here a little bit of green and just pulling across and there should be another one another one coming across and then at the end, just squeeze the brush out. Don't, don't pull it out completely. And just put the brush onto the end of that so that it doesn't stop in a hard line. It, it's, it's a soft end to that. And that's your next bit. 